Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about another important topic in PowerShell called for each loop. Okay. Basically, for each loop is used to iterate over the collection of items and then we can take use of each item and we can modify however we want. I will just write it to the definition for the better understanding purpose. So for each is used to iterate over the collection of objects that's the first thing collection of object that's the first thing so once it is collected then it allows it allows you to perform set of statements or command execution on that okay so i'll just repeat it out one more time powershell for each loop is used to iterate over the collection of objects and then it allows you to perform a set of statements or command execution on those elements one by one okay so this is the definition of for each loop so the syntax for for each is it's very simple for each and then it's going to take one item at a time in collection so it is going to take one at a time item in a in the group or in a collection then it is going to perform some action okay and then close so this is the simple syntax of for each loop so it will collect the items and then it will pass one item at a time and then we can perform the activity on that item however we want let's take an example there are hundreds of servers here hundreds of servers then it will pass one server at a time and then we can use that server and make the statements or command execution however we want as shown in the example so at first i will take a simple example to demonstrate that i will take a variable called dollar number and i will store the data in that one two three four five and so on so let me execute this so the dollar number variable should contain this information one two three four five okay so what i will do i will use for each now and will pass one item at a time so we should give the item name here or whatever the name you can give dollar e dollar b dollar x dollar number right whatever you want you can if you want to give any hero name hero name whatever you want you can give in the item but that should be understanding for other people also in this example i will give it as a dollar n it indicate number so from where it will take the number it will take the number from dollar numbers so dollar numbers is a collection here so it is the collection of numbers one two three four it will take all this number and put it here and then it will pass one number at a time for example when it execute for the first time number one will come and sit here and once the loop completed it will take this number after that third um, four then five and so on so it will take one number at a time and execute it let me close this as for the syntax it should be like this here we need to pass the statements just to give a simple example i will give it as write host and I'll just display the number okay let me execute you can see right it is taking a number line by line and it is giving the output here if you are a little confused you can write numbers here then you can write like this if you execute the entire thing you can see number one number two number three number four number five since we have five items in the group it takes one item at a time and it perform the or it executed the set of statements whatever present inside here so at this moment we have not done anything we simply displayed the result here by using write host command and this is the output numbers one two three four five like that 
so this is how we can take use of a for each loop this is a simple example let me take a little complicated now so i have group of servers in my lab environment i'll just take these numbers uh, these uh, names and then i will try to find one particular service status on this particular server let me take another server here dc01 okay i'll put these servers inside a variable called dollar computers so now you have created a collection execute that so the collection is ready now if you execute dollar computers you will see the servers name now what i will do i will use for each for each and will pass one item at a time here you can give any name it will considering one item at a time so i will give dollar c it indicates dollar computer one item at a time it will take the computer from where it will take the computer from dollar computers group or a collection then it will go inside loop and it is going to perform some actions whatever we mentioned here so i want to get the service status so i will give it as a service variable and i want to know the service status get service name which service i want to take that is spooler let me go to service.msc double click and copy the service name Disturb just I'll start it for example okay so the service name is spooler okay so the first number came and it go inside the loop it's going to perform the activity but we nowhere mention the server name so for that what we can use we can use a parameter called computer name which is already there in get service and we can pass the name here so dollars is nothing but it, it hold one of the server name and then it is going to get the service spooler in that server okay so let me explain one more time so this will get the group of servers name and then the servers come and sit it here and from here to here it will go one by one one item at a time it will go and the same item will come from this place to this it will come and sit it here and then it will going to execute this particular command and the result will be stored inside dollar service variable hope this is clear right okay so now what i will do i will display the result like write host i'll mention the service name sorry service status i'll take service status So now if you take this one and run it on a local machine the entire thing like this much let me copy and run it on my machine and execute what it stored inside dollar service you can see that it, it contains status name and display name so here we need to provide the proper information if you give like this power will not understand what it is going to capture in the output so we will tell we want dollar service status okay we want this information dollar service state okay so if you go like this then power show will get the exact status of the service if we simply give the dollar service it is not going to understand what the person is looking here either he is looking for status or name or display name it's totally confusing so we have to be very careful here so by using like this you will able to get the particular service name only so service status is running or stopped whatever it is and then we'll pass the server details on which machine it is going to give the result dollar c okay and close this so this is how the script looks like so it collected all the servers and then it is passing the servers one by one by using the for each loop and then each server coming and sitting here and then it is executing storing the services result here and then displaying the service status result here and again it is displaying what is the current server name and it is putting the same thing here okay let me execute this yeah you can see right for the first time 
ms02 this particular server came and it went inside the loop and it get the check the status and display the result like service status running so it captured from this particular place service status running and the computer name is this one likewise once the first server is completed it will come out of the loop and it will go for the second one second one its status third one its status and when it enter into the loop it is displaying the result like what is the server name it is holding at that moment right this is how the for each loop works so overall what we can say for each loop is nothing but it is nothing but it is collecting the objects and passing each object one or one object at a time and it is allowing to perform the action on that particular object hope this session is useful on for each object let me know if you have any queries.